One clear advantage the Naruto games have over Dragon Ball Z games is that the series is still actually going on, meaning gamers can always look forward to reliving a new story arc with each subsequent game. Whereas DBZ has to rely on rehashing saga after saga, Naruto fans get treated to what essentially amounts to an interactive anime, with some sprinkle of RPG elements and an incredibly fun, if limited, fighting system. And boy are fans in for a treat with Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Needless to say, if you've somehow never caught on to the Naruto craze, and you have no idea what a Shuringen, Hokage, or Jutsu is, this game is absolutely not for you. UNS3 wastes no time with diving straight into the Shippuden storyline, starting with the five Kage Summit arc, meaning casual players and onlookers will certainly be confused. With that said, the story is as close to the original source material as ever. Naruto fans know that filler plagues the show from time to time, and thankfully, the game completely cuts it out relying simply on telling the story that matters. And what a story it is! Every action-packed moment and every emotional conversation is faithfully recreated in the gorgeous cel-shaded style that the first Ultimate Ninja Storm game made popular. It's clear that CyberConnect 2 has a lot of love for the Naruto franchise, and it shows from every aspect of the game. Even with filler taken out, expect to sit through some long cutscenes. One video in particular lasted at least 30 minutes in length, and none of it is playable. It's handy then that these scenes are entirely skippable, especially if fans have already experienced them in the show. All is not lost though. If you plan on re-watching it at a later time, the Ninja Timeline will prove mighty useful. The Ninja Timeline recounts the events of the entire game, broken into chapters. This handy feature lets you replay fights as well as re-watch major story points. Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 also boasts a new hero and legend choice during key battles, which can slightly alter the presentation. It won't alter the game's story, however, as it tries to stay as close to canon as it possibly can. One of the best examples I've seen is during the first fight with Naruto and Sasuke. Midway through the match, as kunai and swords clash, you have the option to relive their first fight from Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, or more appropriately, their first encounter in the Shippuden storyline, or relive their fated battle at the Valley of the End in the original Naruto storyline. It doesn't alter the outcome of the fight. Instead, it gives fans a choice in how they want their encounters to play out. Selecting Legend over Hero will always be somewhat tougher, but completing each one will allow you to level up and unlock the ability to carry increasingly better consumables into battle. It's trivial, but a nice addition nonetheless. The exploration, though limited, is appreciated. Once again, it makes you feel like you're actively participating in the show, rather than just playing a game. Some of the running around can be monotonous, and the side quests are absolutely forgettable. But UNS3 went back to its free-roaming structure, which was missing from last year's title, Naruto Ultimate Storm Generations. A new feature in this game is the inclusion of mob battles. At certain points in the game, you'll be able to battle a bunch of enemies on the free-roaming map. The combat mechanics stay largely the same, however, there's now a teleport function that allows you to dish out hits on an enemy, and then immediately teleport to the next one. It's a handy technique that's plagued by slowdown on the Xbox 360. Those who are familiar with the fluidity of these games will know that breaking up that flow is a big deal. The roster expands to over 80 characters, which means fans of the series will find their favorite characters to duke it out with. Original Naruto characters make an appearance as well, meaning you can totally kick young Naruto's ass with young adult Sasuke. You can then take any of these characters online in either player or ranked matches. If there's one thing missing from the game, it's the complete lack of the official soundtrack. While the game's soundtrack is certainly reminiscent of it, it's just not the same thing. If you're a diehard fan of the anime, you absolutely need Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. With a near-perfect retelling of the major arcs that lead up to the fourth great ninja war and leaves out the pointless filler, it's a fan's dream come true. The combat, though, mostly the same, goes back to being over the top with amazing quick-time sequences and giant boss battles. In short, this is the most authentic Naruto experience outside of watching the show or reading the manga. We gave Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 an 8.5. Be sure to check out the full review at GameZone.com as well as the latest in gaming news, previews, cheats, and more. Thanks for watching.